Yeah. How much is it to get in? It's eighteen pounds. Yeah. Ticket lasts you the whole year. Okay. So you can come back as many times as you like. All right. Yeah. Can I, would you like to pop in? Yeah, I think so. I think we have enough room at the moment. Oh, amazing. Fabulous. Yeah, because we we're only allowed a certain amount of people in an hour. Okay. Um, but you've yeah you've come at a good time. It's quite <laughs> Thank you. So. Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just visiting Bristol? Are you from here? I'm from Poisset, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I do yeah. visit uh, Bristol a lot because I do a bit of vlogging. Oh, So right. I thought, why not show people this beautiful Yeah, it's boat. stunning. Yeah. It's such a beautiful ship. We'll Thank love you. It. So, You've got a good day for it. Oh. Exactly. And it's the good. view from the top today is yeah. spectacular. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, just to let you know, we're about here at the moment. Yeah. So much to see. So you've got the Dockyard Museum over here that leads you on board the ship. Yep. All of the ship to see. Yep. You've got Bean Brunel, the dock offices and the dry dock, which is the underside section, sort of the hull okay. of the ship. Um, it will take maybe two or three hours, maybe even longer. Um, if you don't have enough. time, don't worry, you can always come back. <laughs> no, no problem. problem. So, if you head on in here, speak yeah. with my colleague yeah. behind the counter, he'll be able to help you. They'll just need your name okay. uh, and a telephone number for track and trace. Okay. Hand sanitizers everywhere. Okay. And you, know, you know the deal with face masks, just in the doors if that's okay. All yeah. right. um, you're welcome to take it outside. Cheers. Right, have a lovely day. Me you too, thank you. Alright, so let me use my track and trace, so that's what we're going to do. You have to make sure you abide to the government laws. So here is my track and trace. I'm going to check in. You can see that. I've checked in. Right? I've checked in. Right. So this is where we're going to get to, to pay. So. Right. Welcome back to another episode of Neighborhood Talk. So today uh, I'm in Bristol. I'm in Bristol. In front of me here, this is an iconic SS Great Britain. SS Great Britain. So it costs 18 pounds to get in here. And once you pay, uh, this ticket lasts you all year. A ticket will last you all year. So you can come in at night, you can come in during the day. And during this channel, I'll be coming during the winter, during the night time, because it lasts me. The ticket actually will last me 12 months. So, as far as I live in Bristol, I'll be taking you uh, through some amazing uh, journey. You know, I've already promised you guys my dream is to hit 1 million. And you know, it's just the beginning. You know, they say, somebody said, if your dream doesn't scare you, that it's not big enough. So, that's my dream. So, it's scary, but that's what you do. I've just paid 18 quid to give you this amazing content. So, let's get closer to this, be uh, this beautiful uh, boat. Uh, the boat actually is, uh, is the first passenger boats that transport people across uh, the pond so this boat I don't know the year but it transported passengers from Bristol uh, to New York so let me get you closer to the boat so that I can see uh, how beautiful the boat uh, uh, look uh, uh, during uh, this pandemic right so I'm walking slowly uh, with my tripod I want to get you uh, closer All right, so now let's continue the real uh, tour of this uh, beautiful boat, uh, this beautiful ship. <laughs> I don't know why I keep uh, uh, me, uh, uh, me saying uh, words today. So uh, this is uh, SS Great Britain. Uh, it's located in uh, Bristol. I think the south side of uh, the town. So uh, this is where uh, down there is Clifton. And also uh, there you can get a boat down there to cross uh, once you cross the pond uh, the entrance is down there but I'll get you there uh, shortly yeah so here's the SS Great Britain uh, it's quite an amazing ship um, it's always says it's the ship that changed uh, the whole world the reason why they're saying that is probably because 
is the first uh, ship that transports passengers from Bristol uh, to New York. I believe uh, that's right. Uh, if I'm wrong, please do uh, correct me in a comment below. Right, so uh, let me, let's just get uh, on with the tour. And what I'll do is I'll just to uh, pan the camera a little bit so that you can see the back of the the boat. And I'm walking uh, to the other side of the boat, and I'll try my best to get to the top. And I'll probably inside if my GoPro actually is good in the dark. I'm not. I'm sure it's not pretty good in the dark, but hopefully uh, I can show you a little bit more of this iconic ship. Uh, so we are in Bristol and the name of the boat is SS Great Britain. Yeah. Right. I think so that's the entrance, uh, one of the entrance. So what I'll do is let's let me take you around the whole boat first before we can get in because I have about an hour uh, before uh, start heading back uh, to the car so let me let me take you uh, around uh, this uh, iconic ship uh, before my time ran out right So uh, this is uh, uh, the other side of the of the ship. Uh, let me get uh, let me get a little bit uh, f uh, further so that I can see uh, this beautiful uh, boat. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty iconic. I can't wait to get to the top. It's beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, yeah. I'll see if uh, any other people here could uh, talk to me, uh, hopefully. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the, that's the tour so far. Uh, that's the other side of the boat. Hiya. Uh, do you require a mask to get in? Sorry? Do you have to wear a mask to get in? Uh, on the ship, you are asked to wear a mask when you're on there. Okay. But you're right, that's Okay. Right, so I think we have to... Uh, wear the mask when we're on the ship yeah so if uh, this information is very useful uh, please uh, do give us a thumb up and also uh, don't forget to subscribe yeah so that's the the tour of um, outside the iconic SS Great Britain so now the next door is uh, uh, inside so let's uh, let me pause the camera and put my mask on right right let's get closer a little bit yeah that's it that's the yeah. confused so what to do here see press and hold I just did that I'm a little bit confused just uh, press and hold is the lift coming okay I think the lift is coming now so you have to press and hold right and let's hope this uh, GoPro can actually uh, give us uh, a good view of inside the boat 
I'm not sure. I don't have any confidence in the GoPro at the moment uh, in the dark. So the GoPro is, I mean, the lift is here. All right. All right, so I'm in the lift. What do I need to do? Going up. the ship all right so now this is uh oh my god so how do you get to the top i have no idea this is where we are so this is where we are right now i have no idea how to get to the top so here's the the inside tour of uh, this beautiful uh, ship it's pretty amazing. So I think uh, that's the propeller, the propeller that uh, steer the, the boat or that uh, powered boat. So let's continue with the vlog, nearly step into a dip. Right. I'm trying to find my way to get to the top of the boat and uh, hopefully somebody will show me uh, the way to get to the top. We'll probably have to find my way to get to the top um, I have no idea right to the boats okay that's where we are now So now you have to use the stairs to get up. I'm using the stairs.
so at the moment you're on top of the ship and I'm walking uh, to the end of this beautiful ship and uh, if you do enjoy uh, the tour and you want to visit and there's anything particular you want to ask me feel free to uh, comment below it's a pretty amazing view today and like the lady said I'll probably get the best view from the top and uh, the view from the top is pretty uh, breathtaking it's pretty amazing so let's continue the tour of this uh, uh, boat I want to stop and get some pictures uh, before we continue uh, the tour Pardon? Welcome aboard. Ah, thank you. I'm just uh, doing some filming for Bristol mm -hmm. about yeah, doing a tour of the boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't mind, do you want uh, to tell me a little bit about the history of the boat? If you want to. Um, yeah. Do you mind to be on cam? Yeah. Right, so, uh, so I'm filming for a YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Ghana Fan Tube. So uh, today I made my plan to come to Bristol to explore this uh, magnificent uh, boat or ship. So please uh, tell my viewers a little bit about uh, this uh, beautiful uh, ship. Yeah, well this uh, the ship was launched in 1843. Yeah. And um, when it was launched it used to, um, it was based in Liverpool. Yeah. And it used to travel in New York. Oh wow, New York. It used to take 14 days, 14 day journey. Okay. So from uh, this port or the port from Poison, which of the ports where uh, the, the ship depart from? Is it? They used to depart from Liverpool. Okay, Liverpool, okay. Yes. Right, and it takes uh, 14 days to get to New York. That's right, yes. Amazing, wow. And I believe it's the first uh, transport ship. Yeah, it was the first ocean going iron ship. Yeah. With a, um, with a screw propeller. Okay. First iron hull ship with a screw propeller. Oh, the, the red propeller, and, uh, yeah? Yes, nice. and balance rudder. Wow. That's amazing. So, guys, uh, 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 please, what's your name? Uh, Patrick. 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 My name is uh, Ed. Hi. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, so, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, this is uh, beautiful. So, if you make your mind to come here, please come to the top and uh, you'll probably see Patrick here. Pa Patrick will probably take you around. And uh, let me explore Thank more. You. Yeah, I was going to say, later, later on, you used to uh, travel from Australia. Australia? From Liverpool. To okay. Melbourne. How long it takes? Um, it took 60 days. 60 days? Imagine being on a ship for 60 days. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've been on a boat for two hours and it was something else. 60 days! Yes, yes. Wow! That's um, amazing. Of course, then the capacity of, of the, uh, the passenger capacity increased from about 252 yeah. to uh, around sort of 700. Wow! So when the ship, uh, when did the ship stop uh, uh, working? Um, it stopped carrying passengers in 1875. 1875. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And then it went. It, it was built in Bergenhead. Okay. Uh, where they transformed it into a cargo ship. A cargo ship to carry like loads, and of containers. Carry, they used to carry coal. Okay. And so it used to. Um, it travelled then from um, Liverpool. Around the coast of South America, yeah. Cape Horn, yeah. to San Francisco, okay. where it used to pick up uh, wheat. Oh, wheat, prairies. yeah, yeah, wheat, yeah. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. And it made three, three, three of those journeys altogether between 1882 and 1886. Okay, just uh, three journeys yes. from San Francisco yes. to Nipples. And then all the last one was caught up in a storm. Oh, of, uh, of Cape Horn. Wow. So, Sorry. 
I'll see you. If you yeah, if you're just gonna, thank you. Thank you very much. See you again. All right. I'm just uh, at the, the back of the ship and uh, you can see a lot of uh, people uh, trying to get in and um, also if you look on the, uh, this side uh, that's where uh, you took the taxi boat to get uh, here and then that's the entrance uh, down there where you see people are queuing uh, that's the entrance and um, behind me uh, that's the full view of the ship uh, of this beautiful uh, ship and also Patrick was saying that uh, this ship uh, uh, a sail from Bristol to Australia and it also it took about 60 days uh, to get the passengers uh, to Australia so if you can uh, ship if you can sail for 60 days let me know in the comments uh, below so uh, that's it that's the the tour of uh, this uh, beautiful boat and um, what I'll do is um, uh, let me uh, turn the camera uh, so that you can see exactly where I am and Patrick was giving me uh, this beautiful uh, detail tour but you know this GoPro I uh, just uh, decide not to uh, record everything so I'm really I'm really gutted uh, I have to come back here again uh, probably to get a full interview of uh, this specialist so until then another episode uh, just end like that don't forget to subscribe though thank you thank you that's it So the boat uh, costs one pound twenty pence uh, to cross. Uh, here's the boat. Uh, you can see people paying across the water. And uh, this is why I love Bristol. Uh, there's a lot uh, you can do here. I uh, can see these are uh, beautiful, cute boats. Uh, just cruising across the pond. Yeah. So you know it's a uh, quite nice weather. So why not? Why not the uh, cruise? on this uh, beautiful uh, uh, Bristol Harbour right the boat 
is just about to leave so let's uh, uh, do the second part of the journey right so this uh, SS uh, Great Britain uh, where I was uh, uh, on my previous uh, video so if you haven't watched the video already please uh, uh, do go and uh, watch uh, that uh, tour of uh, SS Great Britain uh, in front of me there that's I believe is Clifton and also uh, that's the apartment or the residence of the Bristol uh, Brunei Quay that's the name of the area Brunei Quay uh, so what we're doing is we're crossing uh, the water around the Brunei Quay and then behind me uh, that's uh, where the SS Great Britain is so it's just a pretty amazing view right so why not uh, use a uh, uh, this boat when you're in Bristol it's, uh, it's pretty amazing uh, boat uh, it's, uh, it takes about less than a minute uh, to cross so and it costs only one pound uh, 20 pence so yeah we're yeah we're here and that's it guys uh, that's that uh, was uh, a beautiful uh, joyful ride